Hello, my friends. Welcome back. So today for off the board, we are taking things we have pinned on Pinterest, getting them off the board and using them on a layout. So I typed in the word scrap, looked on Pinterest and found this. This is a Scrap Room Kit Club June 2017 Jumpstart Sketch Challenge. I figure starting with the sketch is the bee's knees. So we have a block here, uh, pattern paper coming in at two different angles, some staggered photos, maybe a big stitch, um, I'm sorry, a big tag, maybe. Another piece of pattern paper down here with a cluster. So it looks super doable, but fun, and I get to mix patterns, so that will be fun. Let me show you what I thought I would bring in for this. I have a bunch, I haven't touched it yet, of this Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Lemon Twist collection from Scrap Room. I've got some black cardstock, and then I have all of these papers. Oh, I think I have them upside down. So I have the four by six cards. Ooh, I really like that. I've got this one, it's called Sweet Life. It's a nice gingham with one of these cluster dealios. I like that. This is really pretty. This is so sweet with another black gingham, but right now I like that one. I've used this one before. This one is called Sunshine and Lemonade. So I'll go to that side because I use the other side so much. Happy Thoughts, maybe like this. And then this one's Easy Peasy. Ooh, pretty. So I have that. I have this full 12 by 12 sticker sheet. I've got some of these foam stickers that are so cool. And I'm going to do the word sweet with something else. And then I have die cuts. So I have lots and lots I can use. Um, so what I'm going to do, oh, and let me show you my photos. This is my youngest and this is her in her car right before she went and got some highlights done. And this is after she got her highlights done and she went in with pretty darn brown hair and came out looking pretty blonde. So I thought they were really cute, fun, non-serious photos to scrap. So I'm going to do sweet highlights. So I'll probably go find some black um, alphas and that'll be just fine. Look, at there's a bumblebee too. I associate bumblebees with her because she is a honey lover. Anywho, so that is what I have going on. So I am going to cut my papers, decide what's gonna go where, and once I have those pieces cut and attached down, a la right here, I will come back and I think I might go ahead and ink the edges as well because I wanna use lots of patterns and I want some nice differentiation. So give me a minute to get those pieces together. Oh, and I also want to find some scrap white cardstock and map my photos with that as well. And I'll be back in a jiffy. So I have all of these pieces down my photos are not attached but that whole base of the sketch is down and attached so at this point i have the word sweet and i went into my stash and found these stickers that are called reindeer and they're black glittery stickers not like super glittery glittery but they will show up nicely and i wanted them a lot smaller because the word highlights will go down here lovely and then what i have to do after i get those things down, the photos and the, the title, then I just really, let me see what all I have left. I have these stickers, I've got my foam stickers, and then I have some die cuts. So I'm just going to properly over embellish around my photos because, you know, I like doing that. Ooh, I love these tickets. So maybe I'll do a nice line of the tickets down there. I still have my ink out. I'll be inking everything because it seems super de -doo pretty fun. And I'll be back in a jiffy. Guys, what did I just see? I wanted to show you. See these uh, really cool photo corners? I think I'll do photo corners on all of my pictures too. So I'm going to keep playing and working with all of these goodies. And I'll be back in a jiffy. All right, so let's do some check-in time. I have all of these pieces down. I've got these great floral die cuts. I've gone ahead and inked up some edges, tucked some under. This piece right here had a cluster that came out about to here. So I just chopped it and that's the piece you see here. So they're layered up. I've got some little pop dots underneath 
my pieces here and there. Those are from Spiegel Mom Scraps. They are so awesome. I think they're called Tabby Dots. So I have those going on. Now, I did like this cute little Good Day piece. So I thought I could do something with these little tickets that I went ahead and inked in and have Good Day be a part of it. But I want to pop these guys up on some of those dots. So let me see if I can get a couple of them ready. Then I'll do some kind of configuration-y thing. See the little tabbies? They just peel right off and you can use them. Super nifty, if you ask my opinion. Get a little ink around the edges. And, you know, it's just making it all cohesive. I even do it around the black because then you just don't see the little white edges. So that is what I am doing with this. I'm just building and building and seeing what will work for me and what won't work for me. I mean, everything will work for me. It's, it's cute. All right, so let's have a nice little, all right, I have one there. Let's do the black underneath a bit. I mean, it really doesn't matter that much. They're just cute. I just thought I would make a bit of a cluster kind of thing. Okay, this one reads be happy. So I want that above there. And then let me get my little tabs off of my tabby dots. And I'll pop that right about there. So yes, this is what I'm doing. I'm just seeing what else I can build, what I can add, what might be so cute. like this little bumblebee on the foam there because it's very flat on that cluster right there. And yeah, I'm gonna keep doing this and I'm gonna come back and we'll finish it up together. Okay, so I'm almost done and I wanted to bring in some of these Scrap and Happy Studio Flair. And I saw one that said selfie, which I thought would be cute. What else? Photos is cute. Oh, and then a little camera. So those are perfect to go with all of this black and white. So I'm gonna nestle them in somewhere, don't know where. And then I also have some of these little gems and I thought I would use the white and the yellow ones to have a little bit of sparkle here and there. So let's see where we can get these pieces. This was a fun one because I got to use this collection with all of these patterns, but they ended up going together really, really nicely. All right, how about we nestled this one in there? That's fun. To add a nice pop of black there, and then we have these two. I do like how flare can give you a little bit of shine, a little bit of dimension, all that kind of stuff. So, you know what I could do? I think I'm gonna chop this one. Yes, it is okay to chop your flare, my friends. It will be okay. I wish I could say no flare were harmed when I did this, but nope, I did harm it. There we go. I've got a little piece that reads photos right there. And then where can I tuck this little guy? Oh, that's kind of cool. So I have a bit of a wonky visual triangle, but what I think I'm gonna have to do is take off this little tabby dot that's right here and it wants to stay on. All right, so I'm gonna rescue this little tabby dot, tuck that underneath that spot and then get some of these gems on and I'll show you my finished layout. All right, my friends, this is all finished up. So I went ahead and just got my little gems in my three clusters and that is pretty much gonna do it. This collection is awesome. I mean, it's vintage, which isn't my go-to, but it also has these nice pops of color and saturation, which is my go-to. Anywho, this is it. I will have links down below for the other people that are hopping along with Off the Board this month. Goodbye for now.